You ever hear your parents or your friends talk about settling down someday with somebody? And then when you think about that, do you think of settling down or being happy with someone or thinking that everything will be smooth sailing afterwards? I'm gonna burst your bubble. What's up guys, my name is Amon Bonsal and I bring you the knowledge and mindset you need to get ahead in life. And life is today's topic. You know, it's interesting because people, when they think about marriage, they think that once they're married or once they're with somebody for a long term, everything's gonna be smooth. That you go into this marriage mode and life just starts working. Everything's on easy mode. You don't really have to do much. And everybody thinks that you'll be living happily ever after. That's not true at all, guys. Not in the least. Actually, marriages and long-term relationships are actually not still at all. They're constantly moving. So speaking to guys or girls, when you're going through the dating phase, you see that as something volatile, meaning like there's a lot of dating happening, there's a lot of dumping happening, there's a lot of people getting together, people leaving each other, and all that kind of stuff. It just seems a bit chaotic. It seems like this is the most chaotic portion of your life. And you think that someday you'll find that certain someone and then be happily ever after with them. It doesn't exactly work like that, guys. Guys, what happens is, the person that you get together with, the person that you marry, the person that you stay long term with at that time is a different person. And then as years go by, every five to seven years, about seven years, I'd say, definitely at 10 year mark, every seven to 10 years, that person changes a little bit, a little bit. And then what happens after two of those seven years, so 14 years, that person has changed quite a bit, okay? And then you remember, oh, they used to be like this, but now they're like this. And then you might get caught up in thinking, they've changed, it used to be like this, now it's like this. They're completely different. In fact, what you've done is you've just not acknowledged the fact that they're a human being, that they change. What happens between the age of 20 to age of 40 is a lot of change, guys, a ton of change. We are making up our minds about different political views. We are making up our minds about religious views. We're making up our minds about our fiancés or our husbands and wives. We're making our minds about having kids or not, about careers and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff plays into changing who you are. And especially guys who think that life goes into easy mode and that everything is super, super simple and smooth are completely wrong. And what ends up happening is that people go into this seeking mode where they're continuously seeking a new person who will give them that easy mode, not realizing that there is no such person. When you first get together with that person, they are one certain way with you because you just met each other. When a significant time has gone by, they change and you change. And maybe you didn't change that much and they changed a lot or vice versa. But someone changes in the relationship and the other person gets a little bit caught off guard. And the thing to do at this point is to actually accept the change. Because that is the only way that you're going to be able to live with the change and then get accustomed to the change and then adapt to it and then change your life around that change. If you don't do that, what happens is one person has changed, the other person is not changing, and you don't, you don't see each other eye to eye. You no longer talk to each other as equals. What you have to do is either that person has to come down to your level, or you have to go up to their level, or something needs to happen where you need to meet in the middle. There needs to be some understanding where both of you meet, and then that becomes the new relationship. And that change will happen again. And that change will continuously happen as major things in your life happen. Now, I don't have kids, but I believe that once you have kids, I bet there's a huge shift coming. People with kids, they seem to say that there's a huge change that happens once kids come into the picture because a lot of it becomes about them. If you were expecting a relationship to never change and you are scared by a relationship that changes, okay, I want you to know change is the only normal thing that happens within a relationship, okay? Change happens all the time and you just need to get over it. You just need to get used to it and you need to start embracing it because if you embrace it, your significant other really starts to go rally for you and that creates positivity 
within the relationship and not just create friction because friction comes from them wanting something and you not wanting something, okay? Now guys, it's really important to know that I don't mean that you constantly, constantly give away to whatever they want because you don't wanna be that person either because you need to make yourself happy, right? So what you need to do is you need to find a ground that you can stand on that is your core beliefs and let that be known. Communicate with the other person. Let them know what your core beliefs are, what your core needs are, and let them decide if this relationship is correct for you or not. It is actually completely okay to fall apart over time, okay? It might be that there is no compromise. They moved up here and you're down here and there's no way to get there. And that's okay. You know, a lot of marriages, a lot of relationships, they just fail because people grow apart. And that's okay too. Because sometimes this stuff happens because you think change is so, so crazy that you're so afraid of it that you don't let it happen. And you hold everything tight. What you need to do is let it go. Just let it go and then accept the change or don't accept it and move further apart, okay? But if you wanna move further closer, accept the change and try to find a middle ground where both of you are happy. My name is Amon Bansal and thank you for listening. Go ahead and leave a comment and let me know what kind of changes are you expecting in your relationship and what are you doing about it. See you guys later.